I'm standing in a portion of the old kitchen that was built at the same time as the main ashram dining room. Nowadays this is the place where uh, pots, pots are washed and cleaned, but in Bhagavan's time this was part of the main kitchen and this particular area in front of me was a large pit that had wood fire inside. It was a bit uh, magic cauldrony in those days. They had big log fires, gigantic huge pots, and people would stir them with gigantic ladles. Now, nowadays, uh, fortunately for the trees, the ashram works off boilers which are far more economic and they even have a, a biogas plant which fires their boilers. Bhagavan throughout the 1920s and 30s would be the ashram's head cook. He would, he would generally be the first person here in the morning. If anybody tried to get up half an hour earlier, then the next day Bhagavan would be up 35 minutes earlier. There was no way he would let anybody get here first. He would come here and he would start chopping vegetables. Ashram menus were more or less decided by Bhagavan, depending on what food had arrived that day. He would sit, he would start, he would tell everybody what to do. And as the ashram got bigger and more visitors came, he wasn't really allowed to sit here all morning chopping vegetables, which he was in earlier times. He would simply come from time to time, maybe take a sip from a pot, discuss how the food was progressing with the cooks, and then go back to the hall. If it was a really busy morning and too many people wanted his attention in the hall, then Santa Mel or one of the other cooks would actually take a spoonful into the old hall, give it to Bhagavan to taste, and he would have to sign off on it before it was served to everybody in the dining room. So very definitely a hands-on cook. And the people who worked with him have all told their accounts, and they all said it was a very intense personal relationship with Bhagavan in which he taught them all kinds of spiritual truths through the medium of cooking and preparing food for the ashram. <laughs>